Hi there, Chris here with Rainbow Guys DIY. Today I'm going to show you how I'm fixing my bathroom fan. So the light in our bathroom fan burned out a while ago and I just haven't gotten around to replacing it. Uh, the light fixture itself, the fan itself, is kind of old and dingy looking. I've been wanting to replace it, but I didn't want to have to cut a new hole for the ceiling, do a whole lot of duct work, all of that. So I did a little research and found out that this is probably a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, so I just went online and Googled the model number of the fan, and I'll show you where to get that information, and ordered a replacement fan kit and a new LED light cover. So I'm going to show you how quick and easy this is going to be. The fan itself works, but it's kind of loud. It's an older fan. I don't know how old it is. It was the fan that was here when we bought the house, and it just kind of sounds old and clunky. Let's see if you can hear that. That's the fan itself before replacement. You can also see it's just kind of old and yellow and grungy. So we're going to fix all that. All right, first thing we're going to do is take off the light cover. Well, actually, first thing you're going to do is make sure there's no power to it. So make sure it's off, disconnect all the power, you're good to go. Uh, this won't require any actual electrical work, but it's still better to be safe. So once that's all off, you just kind of get this light cover off. That's where your light bulb would be if we were replacing that. Take out our light bulb. Now on this model, there is a wing nut right in the center. And that is what is holding the fixture on. You can see that right there. So I gotta take that out. And that's what's holding up this entire fixture. So back here, there are two wires. That's what feeds the light bulb. And they are just plugged in to the fan housing. So it's just a regular outlet. Nothing to rewire there. We'll put that aside. And that is the white plug up here on the inside. So you can see there's a white plug and a black plug. Black plug is what feeds the fan. And right here is where you can typically find your model number information. So this is a model 763 RLN B unit made by Newtone. So that's what I searched for online and found a replacement fan and the light cover on Amazon. I forgot a screwdriver. One moment. All right. So I do see one Phillips screw right here. Oh, I should unplug that fan. Make sure that it doesn't come crashing down on you. And it's on kind of a hinge. And that is really dirty. That is really dirty. No wonder it was so noisy. Again, I don't know how old this fan is. I'm guessing pretty old. Uh, so there's one screw here that was holding it in. And then there's two tabs on this side that go into two slots up there. And that's how it stays in place. So I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to go get a little vacuum and clean that up. All right, that will do. That was kind of gross. So new unit just kind of came in a regular box. That's all it is exactly the same as the old unit, just a lot cleaner. It did not come with a screw, so be sure you don't lose your old screw. Then it goes in opposite of the way it came out. So the side with the two tabs will go on this side. Oh, 
And this might be helpful to have a helper. Just put the screw back into place. Plug the new fan into the black outlet. All right, fan is replaced. Now for the light cover, this is what I ended up getting. So I just measured the opening because this doesn't quite, um, well, it doesn't have the model number of my fan listed, but it is for openings that are eight and a quarter, which that is. And the way it works is different from the old unit that was the wing nut. This has two little spring clamps. So two little spring clamps that hold it into place. So it has the same plug. And this model actually is cool if you have a light that, or a fan that doesn't currently have a light. You would plug this in to where the fan goes, and then the fan would plug into here. So if you have an old fan, there's no light in that area, you can upgrade it to add a light without having to do any additional wiring. It comes with these wire clamps already installed. Um, the back of the box does say which wire clamps are needed for each model you might have, um, but since my model's not listed, I'm just going to try it out with the ones that are installed. They look like they're the shorter ones. So if you have a larger gap from, let me see if I can show you this. So there are these two little slots right there and right there, and that's where the spring clamps go in. So I checked this out before I bought this light cover just to make sure it would work. Um, but if you have a larger gap from here to the ceiling, then you can use the longer spring clamps for that. So this plug just goes into the white outlet. Which way do I want to do this? Like that. I might need to go get a step ladder because now all the stuff's in my way. Okay, so that goes into the white outlet. You can take these and squeeze them together. I'm going to need the longer ones for sure. All right, one moment. So if you put it all the way in, you can kind of wiggle it out that way. So having it be parallel like this, it's two wires thick and doesn't want to come out. And that's how it stays in place. So we'll put the longer ones in. Try that again. So we'll plug this into the white outlet. Squeeze the clamp together and just start it into that hole. It's got these. So when you squeeze it together, there's these two loops. And when you just barely let go and keep that in the slit, that's what keeps it from just falling out so that you can do the other side. So squeeze those together into the little slot. Out across them, and there we go. Okay, so they're in. And you just push it up. So it's a little, it barely covers the hole that was there previously, but that's fine. I just need to do some touch-up paint. Let's test it out. Let me go turn the power on. All right, first let's test the light. Nice and bright, and now the fan. Get it closer so you can hear the new fan. Not too bad. 
the box for the light fixture pointed out that it has less openings, so there's less to clean and keep free of dust, so that will be nice. Turn that off. Anyway, so that's it for today. A nice quick video showing you just how easy it is to replace your bathroom fan if you have one that just isn't working, if you have, need to add a light into an area that maybe is too dark and you don't want to have to do any wiring. It's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So thanks for watching. See you next time. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. You can also follow us on social media at Rainbow Guys DIY for even more content. See you next time.